Hello friends, greetings from Iceland. I stopped here next to the highway to show you a hornito. Uh, so here we have a hornito. It's a volcanic phenomena uh, that uh, occurred during the volcanic eruptions. Uh, and those hornitos can can occur very far from the crater, even 10 kilometers away, because there is no uh, eruption uh, here in the nearby. There was no eruption in the vicinity of a few kilometers, so it's very far from the source of the volcanic eruption. And they occur due to degassing, degassing through the gases which are forcing the lava to move apart, as you see. Here you see some flowers. It's called Alaskan lupine. It was brought here to Iceland some decades ago from Alaska. And it got adopted very well. And now it's really, we have lots of lupine here in Iceland. So here you see a hornito. It's a sort of a a volcanic cliff which was driven apart by gases you see here it's split and there are quite a few of them here there is another one there you see exactly the same thing there are quite many of them actually here there is one more there in the distance, you see, and uh, there is another one there. So we have many of those hornitos here uh, in the neighborhood, close to Thorlaks Hub. As I told, there is no big volcano nearby that would emit the lava, the source of lava was very far, the crater, the eruption was very far from here, but uh, at least a few kilometers away there in the mountains. But here we have those kind of formations, you see, called the Hornitos. They can be of different shapes. And there is another one there, you see here. That is current weather in Iceland right now, on uh, June 4th, 2021. I might be mistaken about the Hornitos, but I think those are called the Hornitos, those kind of um, volcanic formations. We have different types of them, and they are happening due uh, they take take this shape due to degassing degassing you see lava degassing they're like bulbs in the fields volcanic uh, vol volcanic bubbles volcanic bubbles let's call them bubbles you see and they are springing up very far from the source of the eruption. Here is another one. Let's take a look closer. Now it's evening, you see, and it's uh, very foggy in Iceland right now also. Here you see another one. Uh, this one is small, but uh, It's a very good example how degassing can, how gases, volcanic gases can drive lava apart. As here you see. Well, Iceland is very interesting. You see. And three of them here. There is one, there. Here is another one. And I'm standing on one more. Actually, there are plenty of them through the fields here, but those are very close to the highway, and then I can show you them. 
So it's one of the volcanic phenomena that we observe here in Iceland, well, very widespread, I would say. You see those kind of hornitos everywhere through Iceland. And this is Alaskan lupine, as I told you. This flower is Alaskan lupine. It's starting to blossom in Iceland right now in June. Very beautiful. But it's quite infestive because uh, now it's infested really great parts of Iceland and they really don't know what to do with it. They you now try to eradicate it uh, in some parts of Reykjavik because it's just everywhere and it prevents other plants from growing. It's an invasive species of uh, plants. The name originates from lupus, wolf, um, in Latin. Wolf flower, you can say that. Typical Icelandic, very Icelandic. It's very character characteristic for Iceland in June. It's entire fields, we have entire purple fields so, of uh, lupine. Uh, now in June in Iceland, so it's good time to come to Iceland to see lupine fields, purple fields in the south of Iceland and also around Reykjavik, but also here you can already see them, you see. So I wish you all the best, greetings from Iceland.